Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today I got a special surprise for you guys. I am going to be using Grenadiers, and I am loving Grenadiers. I have seen so many YouTubers pour so much hate onto these poor little guys, and I have loved them. And if you want to call them Grenaders or whatever, I, that's fine. I like calling them Grenadiers. It's just a little easier to... It, it flows nice and smooth. Uh, but here we go. Look at this. So these are max level Grenadiers and uh, level 10, and I'm kind of testing out different strategies with them. A long time ago, I, got, I, go, I did the Gooky strategy, which is the Grenadiers, Medics, and Zookas. And that was okay, um, but I did want it. I got attacked the other day, actually it was a while ago, with all Grenadiers and two boats of medics. And he annihilated my base, no losses. And that's insane if you could destroy a base with no losses of anything. So, um, I know you could do it with tanks. I wanted to take it upon myself to try using these. Um, I started out using them with Scorchers, and I, I did a lot of NPC bases. I used three boats of Scorchers and 20 Grenadiers. And we're just going to view some of those replays before we get on to the live attacks or just the plain grenadiers so yes first things first i want to take down the um the boom cannons because they one shot the grenadiers and the grenadiers take like 15 minutes each to train so it takes a while if you lose one so yes i took down those guys and then you want to deploy your scorchers and then your grenadiers your grenadiers run faster than your scorchers so you have to be very careful uh how you deploy your troops so the grenadiers they basically just toss a bunch of grenades now i wouldn't recommend using this unless you have pretty high level grenadiers because i realize that low level grenadiers they are trash but high level grenadiers these are maxed these are awesome guys these grenadiers are awesome so they're just tearing through the base i did lose few the rocket launchers are deadly um the only bad thing is if a building is hooked on to your grenadiers it's going to take a while for them to take it down, so you might lose a lot. You just need to, like, always have a couple energy, so you could play some critters or something. Like, if you don't have all that. Now, I did, I don't know if these guys are actually hitting my Scorchers. I have looked and watched replays and tried to figure out if they are, but if they are, they're barely taking it down any health. Um, so, that's something there. So... I don't think they are, but if they are, I know they kill critters, so you have to be careful with your critters. Okay, so on this base, I'm just going to place two barrages on the boom cannons. Um, we're going to speed it up to a little till I deploy. So here, I deployed them all at the same time, and the grenadiers are in front of them, and I did lose a few to the sniper towers. I think I only lost one, but a couple of them got damaged. So I'm just, like, plowing through the base, guys. It's when you're hooked on like this, it takes a while. Um, so yes, this is an awesome strategy. I recommend using this if you have max grenadiers. I'm trying to get new strategies here because I need better strategies for map clearing. Because you for map clearing, you'd want you your final goal should be to destroy all the NPC bases without any losses because that's the easiest way to map clear. Um, if you're able to do that, because then you just train up a warrior army, even do the NPC or player bases or a different army like Smoky Zookas. Um, let's put it on times two. These grenadiers are awesome. I destroyed that mine just before that guy walked over. I'm pretty sure that would one-shot my grenadier or something like that. So, these guys are just plowing through the base. Um, I, I don't know if they're actually hitting him and killing him or not. But if they are, they're barely doing anything. So, yes, the base goes down. Another win for me. I only lost a few to all these NPC bases. Um, Shocking Solution is actually one I, I uh, it's pretty hard to destroy off warriors without any losses. Um, you can only, like, do it when you have a super boost. So, first things first, I placed two barrages over here. Got all but one boom cannon down. Let's just place uh, artillery, and then I'll deploy my warriors over here. And we're just going to basically plow through the base again. We'll put it on times two again. Just because the grenadiers are kind of slow at shooting and taking down a building. So we just have to be able to kill the rocket launchers first. And I'm kind of experimenting what I should take out at the beginning of the raid. Should I take out rocket launchers? Should I take out shock launchers? Or should I take out boom cannons? Um, so yes, this base goes down. Another win for me. Very easy, guys. Very easy. Um, let's see. So there's teardrop left. I already did a teardrop base. So... Here is when I started failing. I did, I, I attacked this guy with all squ with Scorchers and Grenadiers. Then I attacked him with all Grenadiers and Medics. And I'll kind of show you what you don't want to do. So this one was a major fail. I ended up retreating. We're going to speed it up a little. So first things first, I, I, I don't know why I didn't see that. But I didn't see that until I uh, started to pull my troops. And I don't know why I didn't see that. That's going to one-shot my troops every five seconds. And since Grenadiers are so slow at firing, you want to avoid bases with prototypes. 
um, because prototypes are very deadly. I found that the shock blaster is the worst, and here's the shock blaster over here, and you're gonna see the shock blaster in action. So watch the shock blaster. It's gonna tear apart my tubes. It's gonna clutch the raid for him. Look at that. It's just tearing apart my tubes. So you, you, uh, you can't destroy every base of this. You can only destroy the bases that don't shock blasters, and I wouldn't attack a base as a doom cannon. So I just did this, this one six minutes ago just to test out the strategy, see if I could pull at least one win, and here we go. So this guy pretty much has a super boost on all but his health. So I'm wondering what he's uh, training up there. Probably warriors or something. So, or maybe it's all Zookas because he doesn't need health. So first things first, I took out that boom Doom Cannon right there because Doom Cannons are deadly. Up here, I'm going to be taking down Vaporage and then I'll speed it up to a little till I deploy. I'm going to take down Vaporage and then I'm going to take down Vaporage. And I have practically no energy. I only have an energy for two smokes and one more flare after this flare. So that's all the energy I have. The good thing about these guys is they're pretty much out of range of almost everything. Um, the out of range of everything but the boom cannons, the shock launchers. The, sometimes they'll be in range of sh cannons. It's like on the border. And then I don't know if about sniper towers. I don't think they're in range of sniper towers. Um, you just have to watch out for the doom cannons, the boom cannons, the shock launchers, and the uh, rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are pretty deadly. And if you need medics, you need medics also. I I would say use two boats of medics. So this is mostly just a gooky strategy video. And so this rock of uh, the shock launcher is firing. I deployed a critter box to take it down because it takes so long if they're focused on one building to take it down. And I did this one without any losses, which is nice. I mean, granted, he is level 54 and he doesn't have any ice statues and no prototypes, but still, with grenadiers, nobody likes grenadiers and I love them. So I didn't want these guys to step into boom cannon because I would lose a few, so I just kept smoking him. He was out of range, which is nice. And we ended up with another victory. Victory. So that's pretty awesome guys pretty awesome. So That's all of our replays. I'm liking these guys a lot. So now we're gonna jump on to some live attacks I'm gonna try to find some bases that don't have any uh, Don't have any of these prototypes because prototypes are super deadly and they take so much combo energy to take one down so uh, This guy I tried to get on that guy earlier. Oh, this is the guy that had the prototypes so if I take down uh, this prototype first, uh, so much health. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just skip them. I'll just take them out of warriors once I have a warrior army trained up. And um, this guy only has a two two doom cannons, both level. Oh, I don't think the level matters. They'll still one shot them. So yeah, you just really have to just look at the base before you attack and make sure um, that you could take it on. And I don't, I wouldn't recommend taking one on that as prototypes. Okay, so that prototype is okay to take on. And, but all of his rock launchers are in it. So, we're going to go back to NPCs. I'll show you some more NPC strategy uh, without the Scorchers. So you don't have to train up two different armies to defeat some NPC bases. We'll just probably just clear my map, do a bunch of them. So, the thing about this base is, if I go from down here, it's going to take them so long to take down each building, but that's what I'm going to do. So, first we need, that guy's not going to be in range. Okay. Let's drop a couple of barrages. And we need one artillery. Okay, mines are a problem. We're going to take down that guy. Boom, and there we go. So we're gonna, we're just gonna place one barrage here to take down all these mines. And I accidentally placed two. That's not gonna matter too much here. So we're gonna deploy our troops. We're gonna drop a, a, a critter box here. So we did lose two, and my grenadiers are killing them. So that's not good. So my medics need to hook on and start healing up my troops, and we should of victory we're just gonna keep the back rear shock so they don't die by anything um i'm like soaking up all that extra energy and so this is actually a very good strategy maybe just uh keep one i not do that fail uh, that fail barrage like i did just skip that for now there we go we're gonna be on to the hq and 
Look at all those mines. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome, guys. All those mines go boom. Mines go boom. Uh, we're just gonna do a backflip, so I just walk into it. Uh, let's just got some critters. Two critters just for the heck of it. And uh, yeah, see, they're killing all my critters. But that's fine, guys. That's fine because we're gonna beat the base. We beat Hammered. We only lost two, which isn't that bad, but it is kind of bad. You don't want to lose any when you're clearing your map because these guys take 15 minutes each to train. And let's gym them up. So. We're gonna do shock therapy. I don't think I did shock therapy, and this is one I have a lot of problems with when I use warriors. So we're gonna see. Actually, never mind. That's way too hard. There's too many cannons. We have to avoid cannons. Um, sometimes they're in range, sometimes they're not. So let's actually do teardrop again. Um, so f first we need to take down that. We need to take down that. We're gonna drop a artillery. Gonna drop an artillery. Gonna drop two artillery to take down those. That's gonna help us this time. Um, if I flare over here, I would need to shock all these buildings. Let's do it. Whoever heard about Smokey Zoo, whatever this is. Boom. Smokey Grenadiers, boy. Smokey Grenadiers. Here we go. We're moving into the base here. We're gonna shock those again. That was actually the best shock. It's able to shock all of them. We need to make sure these medics get all hooked up and get out of there. Get into the smoke. Oh my gosh, this cannon is gonna fire. Boom. I love that when that first fires. Okay, that's not good at all. We're gonna we're losing all of our medics. This will probably be the last raid. The video is getting kind of long, guys. Um probably be my last one. Now we're gonna flare up here. I really don't recommend uh, smoking. Maybe we could try smoking to the HQ. <laughs> that would be awesome. No, but yeah, I wouldn't try smoking. The medics are slower, so it's harder to get them all aligned. We'll drop a critter box, even though they'll die like crazy. And we'll just drop some of those. And we're able to beat the base without any losses or great ideas, just medics. And that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. It's always appreciated. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.